Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. I am D, and we're going to jump right back into our ongoing Let's Play of the original Portal using Vorpex on the Oculus Rift. And go. So this is the elevator we were about to go inside. Before I go in there, I want to show just a couple quick things about some settings. So, currently, I'm at the default settings, and it looks like I'm about human-sized. When I walk up to this portal, I feel like the top of the portal is like maybe a couple feet over my head. When I walk through this tunnel, I feel like the tunnel's maybe 8 to 10 feet high. Now, if I adjust some of the settings, some of the Vorpex settings, I can make myself feel somewhat larger or smaller. So, I'm going to switch over to uh, Geometry. I'm going to set eye separation to 3. Uh, the default is 1. So my eyes are in the virtual world are now 3 times farther apart. And I'm going to increase my camera height modifier to raise my eye level to a higher point of view. Now, if I jump back in, this room I'm in suddenly feels quite a bit smaller, and I feel like when I walk under here, that I'm just barely crawling through a much smaller tunnel. And this portal, like, I'm, I feel like I wouldn't even fit through this portal, like my body is going to scrape against the sides as I go through it. So I feel quite a bit larger, I don't feel like a giant. Um, the, the settings don't really go high enough for me to make myself feel really big. Um, but I do feel quite a bit larger, and things feel the world feels smaller. Now, if I adjust the other way, and I bring this down to something like 0.3 for the eye separation, and I bring my camera height modifier all the way down to the minimum, going down, down towards the floor, Now my portal uh, icon is actually in the top of my vision, so I can't use it very well. But I'm much closer to the floor now. So this room feels like it has a much higher vaulted ceiling on the order of um, like 20 feet. And the, even this tunnel, I feel like, like I'm a little cat walking down this tunnel because the, the roof is much, much higher now. Um, also, when you adjust the eye separation really far apart, it increases the 3D effect. When you adjust it smaller like this, it decreases the 3D effect, so it's not quite as dramatic. And when I walk through this portal, I'm like, the top of the portal is like five feet over my head. I am little. And with that, I am going to return to my original settings and continue the game. Into the elevator. Loading screen, my arch nemesis. All right, here I am. Blood safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Vaporization is bad for your health. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject one down here. No problem. In 
the 3D, it's quite a bit Wiping easier. Devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture signs on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. As I was saying, um when you're wear when you're in 3D, it's a lot easier to see the path that the pellet is following. Um, you don't need the the so in Portal it makes the little ash mark when it hits the wall to let you know exactly where it's hitting. That's just not quite as necessary when you have full 3D depth like this. You can kind of see the path that it's following and predict where it's going to go. And into the elevator I go. Let's roll. I think pretty soon I'm going to get the dual portal. Ah, loading screen. This is quite a large room. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. I don't actually know what this icon down here means. It's like he's looking into something and not supposed to do that. I know that that one's drowning. That's getting hit by the pellet. One disconcerting thing about playing in 3D is if you get really, really up close to something, like this, it's not so bad in Portal, because uh, you can't actually get too close to things in Portal, but if you're playing in like Minecraft, you can get so close to it that your eyes can't even focus on it, and that's really disturbing. Anyway, here's some nice water. And I'm just going to... I think I'll get hit by the pellet. Ah, okay. I just got hit by the pellet. So that was bad for my health. The portal does a great job of making you feel like after you've died that your corpse is lying down on the floor. And I'm back. Let's try dying a different way this time. Not by the pellet. Ah! Alright, now let's try not to die this time. And let's try to actually shoot in the right place, that would be helpful. There we go. Now we gotta get over there. This stuff looks weird. It looks like there's like paint floating on the surface or something. To the unstationary scaffold. Scaffold. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Of course. As you can see, I was in no danger of death from the multiple times that I died. This is another pretty big the testing chamber. The Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh well, I guess that's the end of the Let's Play. Can't solve this test. It was fun, everybody. I guess wearing the headset made it impossible to complete the game. That's the way it goes. Or not. Fantastic. 
you remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Let's go! What is coming next? Oh, that's kind of cool. Learning scheme froze in the middle of the blue shot. Hello again. To reiterate, previous one. When your field of view is wider like this, you tend to notice things above you a lot faster. Camera! Camera! So this is going to be one of the first places where I fling myself. There's the orange up there. I think if I had the full vertical field of view um, that the Oculus Rift normally has, I would be a lot more, um, it would be a lot easier to see things like this that are above me. As it is, it's somewhat cut off at the top and bottom. Anyway, whee! Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Take a little jump. Whoa! Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Someone's calling me on my phone, apparently. But I can't answer that right now. Wah! Okay, I just flipped around on that one, but I'm okay. And another jump! Whee! Okay, that didn't do anything. Need to actually move the portal. Then do another jump. Whee! I flipped around again. But I made it to the top! Let's get out of here! Come on! Loading... Ah, the next chamber! The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Pressing the button. Oops. That wasn't quite quick enough there. Gonna have to wait for the portal gun to come back. can check out the room a little bit while I'm waiting for it. There we go. Let's get in here. There we go. And the platform has started moving. I'm going to want to go out the portal that's near the platform, so I'm just going to have to wait a little bit. There we go. Almost got you. Come on. Yeah. 
the device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals. Double portal once. gun. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more variable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject one down here. All right, let's see if I can get out of here without dying. I think I need to push the button again, maybe. I'll figure it out. I don't quite remember all the puzzles in this game. Oh, there was a button right there. I'm an idiot. Come back, platform. On to the platform I go. Never noticed that big cluster of blocks right above the portal gun before. Oh come on. No, it's okay. The portal's still over there. Just need to go through this portal now. And I'm clear! Alright! And I made it! Level 12! Get your cheater, fling yourself! Fling into space! Start to have some fun now that I have both of the portal gun, uh, blue and orange portal. So I can go down this staircase. I actually want to start up here. Where do I need to go? Up there? Alright. And away I go. Whee! No problem. I need to go a little higher. All right, what's next? Ah, I gotta fling myself at an angle. Very well. Gotta get out to that cube. So I can hold this button down. Cube! Hello, storage cube. And I push the button. Now I need to get back up to the top. Whee! That was fun. Let's do it again. Well, that was a fail. One more time. And jump! Oh, come on. I'm really bad at this. Jump! Right into the wall. Alright. And I think that will be enough for now. I will see you guys next time for more Portal with the Oculus Rift and Vorpex. Everybody have a great everyday.